So today we're going to show you how to make protein smoothie shakes. That you might find that sometimes if your order didn't come in, you might be missing some of your canned supplements. And so we want to help you create some of those nourishments. So the first one we're going to do today is a protein smoothie shake. It's done with whole milk yogurt. It's done with whole milk. It's done with peanut butter and with sweetened condensed milk. But yes, you can substitute a non-peanut butter. You can use sun butter or other if you want to. Um, the whole batch, the recipe is written for a half gallon of milk for a four pound bag of yogurt, one pound of peanut butter and one can of the sweetened condensed milk. We're gonna make a quarter batch today. So we're making five servings. So we have one pound of milk. We have one pound of yogurt. We have four ounces of peanut butter and we have three and a half ounces of the sweetened condensed milk. So that's a quarter can. Okay, now we're gonna blend it on low speed for about one minute, and then we'll scrape it down just to make sure that the peanut butter gets incorporated. Now we're going to go ahead and pour it in into our serving glasses. You can scale these or portion these on a scale. Otherwise, we're just going to eyeball the five and then we'll come back depending on how much is left in the blender. Okay, so with these servings, the nutrition is 350 calories for the eight ounce serving, and it has 12 grams of protein. Um, it has basically those same four core ingredients, but if you want to do other flavors, you have the option, you can use strawberry or blueberry yogurt, use whatever flavor yogurt you want. Just remember if you're using this for modified textures that you want to have a yogurt that doesn't have solids in it, um, just so that you can account for that so that way like if you're going to go for a level four if you want to have additional flavors you could add a quarter cup of chocolate syrup you could add a quarter cup of blueberries you could add one to two tablespoons of coffee you could add one banana to the quarter batch you could add a quarter cup of strawberries so all of those would make great flavor extensions but did you know they also make great freezer pops and so this is one way that you can have smaller batches from a quality control that way you can actually put them in your freezer for 30 to 60 minutes if you're going to do it for a regular beverage pass or it's really easy if you have any left over put it in the freezer overnight and make it for snack tomorrow so just kind of to recap, that gives you the ability to have a different flavor every day, but using the same four base ingredients as your foundation. So again, the big batch was a pound of yogurt, or excuse me, one bag of yogurt, a half gallon of milk, 
one pound of peanut butter and one can of the sweetened condensed milk. Today's quarter batch, we used one pound of milk, one pound of the yogurt, four ounces of peanut butter, and three and a half ounces of the sweetened condensed milk, which was the quarter can. So I, I invite you to go ahead and play around with the different flavors and hopefully enjoy. Thank you.